Okay, as always, your mission is to solve the mystery. You're going to step into my shoes and be my eyes and ears. It will be up to you to decide my every move. Click on Next to continue. When you're in the center of a room, you can turn around in a circle to see the whole room. Move your cursor to the left or right edge of the screen and you'll automatically move in that direction. A forward arrow allows you to advance in the direction you want to go. Likewise, a back arrow allows you to take a step back. Sometimes up and down arrows are available too. Give it a try. Find the forward arrow and check out my suitcase. I always carry my magnifying glass with me to scan for clues. When it turns red, I know I'm on to something. Move your mouse until the magnifying glass turns red. Then click to zoom in. When you want to go back to where you came from or turn around. When the magnifying glass turns into a question mark, you Welcome to my latest case, The Curse of Blackmore Manor. To start, choose junior or senior detective. If you're new to adventure games or need some help, choose Gameplay Overview. Dear Ned, greetings from jolly old England. Although right now I'm not so sure about the jolly part. That's because I'm on my way to Blackmore Manor where the daughter of one of our neighbors is living. The daughter, whose name is Linda, recently married Hugh Pendleton, a British diplomat. Hugh travels a lot, so the only people at the manor with Linda are Hugh's aunt, Mrs. Drake, and Hugh's 12-year-old daughter, Jane. The thing is, ever since Linda moved into the manor, her health has gone downhill. She's practically bedridden, and no one seems to know why. Her mother is convinced something is terribly wrong and wants me to find out what. So here I am, about to be dropped off at a huge centuries-old mansion in the middle of a dark, foggy moor. <laughs> I can't tell whether the butterflies in my stomach are because I'm excited or just a tad creeped out. Talk to you soon. I hope. Nancy. Night, Miss. Good luck. <laughs> Nancy! Who's there? Hello? <laughs> child over there I mean something was out there uh, come in I'm mrs. Drake I take it you and Nancy drew yes and I really did see something mrs. Drake I heard something too oh, people are always seeing and hearing things on the moor at night Especially you Americans. Why don't you just go on up to your room? It's the one with the moon on the door. I'd like to see Linda, if I could. I'm afraid Linda is, uh, not quite ready to meet with you just now. But please, come see me after you've unpacked. I'll be in the conservatory. All right, thank you. Wonder what goes there? Something fits in here, but what?
Hmm, a tripod. For a camera, maybe? Head pub, this is Tommy. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Right, right, Nancy Drew, out at the old Blackmore Manor, are you? Coo, you must be Ank Marvin up there. Pity about your kitchen, but we'll fix you up for some Bex and Posh. Just tell me what you'd like. Uh, okay. What do you have? We've got some loop de loop, bangers and mash, a real fine pinky and perky, and a delicious dog's eye, me fork and knife, just rubber ducked. Hello? Um, <laughs> could you repeat that? Sure, we've got some loop-de-loop -loop bangers and mash, pinky and perky and a dog's eye, and they're all Robin Hood. I'll have some loop-de-loop. -loop. Okay, one loop-de-loop. Uncle Fred and Johnny Rudder? Uh, okay. All right, then. We'll come round and leave it at your Rory. Oh, and we've got no hot potato about, so it might take a bit. But we'll have it up to you in no time. Fish and taters. John Pendleton. Do I have to learn this? Yes, I'm afraid you do. If I do well, can we play a game? Yes, but only in French. Oh. Hmm. Oh, forget it. Stay in Italy as long as you want, then. Some kind of husband you're proving to be. It's not all in my head. Don't bother. Linda? Hi, it's me, Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew, our friendly neighborhood detective. Well, 
Welcome to Blackmoor Manor. I apologize for greeting you under such unusual circumstances. So, how are you feeling? How am I feeling? Well, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like something really strange is happening. Could you be more specific? Could I be more specific? Ah, the Ace Detective is grilling me for details. <sighs> I'm tired all the time, my mouth is dry, my vision is blurry, but that's not important. Here's what's important, Nancy. There are some doors that should never be opened. There are some doors that hold secrets which must never be known. That's everything you need to know. Now if- Mommy, can I come in? No, you're supposed to be in your lessons. Lessons are over. I want to meet Nancy. I said no, Jane. Okay. That was my stepdaughter. She can be such a pest sometimes. Anyway, I understand you feel an obligation to my mother, but trust me, there's nothing you can do. You're welcome to stay, but I strongly recommend that you go home as soon as possible. I can't go home empty-handed. It might jeopardize my ace detective status. Linda? Okay, I'll let you rest, but I'll be back. I'm here for you if you need me. This must be Mrs. Drake's room. Guess she's not in her room. Oh, it's just a parrot. Scared ya! <laughs> no, you didn't. Did you? Did you? What's your name? Lolo! 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 Okay, I get the point. Lulu. Lolo, 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 Lolo. Do you, by any chance, know Latin? Quiste rogabit, bene bidivici, semper ubi sabubi, moritoris dejus... I'll take that as a yes. Would you mind translating something for me? Fire away! Equinoctium autumnalis. The longest day of the year is solstitium, the summer solstice. The shortest day is bruma, the winter solstice. Equinoctium vernum is a spring equinox. Equinoctium autumnalis is a fall equinox. Day equals night, Lulu's always right. Rawr! Bye, bird. Bye, bird. You're gonna need a bigger boat. I need the key. I need the key. Felicity, the door, the door! Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. There goes my cell phone. Hello? Hi, Nancy. It's Mrs. Petrov. How is everything? Have you seen Linda yet? Literally speaking, no, but I did talk to her. Not that she told me anything. I'm just about at my wit's end. I've never known her to act like this. The last doctor that examined her said that aside from a little dry skin, which is not unusual for her, she was perfectly fine. Why is she hiding behind that curtain? I have no idea. When I was out there last week, I got fed up and pulled the curtain back. She threw a fit, but otherwise she looked absolutely normal. 
A little pale, perhaps, but who wouldn't be pale, cooped up like that? Something has changed her. Something in that house. Hugh is just as bewildered and upset by her behavior as I am. Please get to the bottom of this, Nancy. You're our last hope. Where is Hugh? He was called to Rome. As a diplomat, he's always being called out of the country without warning and without any say in the matter. He'd much rather be there with Linda, although... Although what? It's just that Hugh said it hasn't been very easy for him to talk to her lately. Whenever he calls, which is at least once a day, Linda always seems to fly off the handle for no reason, which doesn't make sense. Linda has always been extremely level-headed and even-tempered. She never gets angry. At least she didn't used to. Who exactly is Mrs. Drake? She's Hugh's aunt. She's taken care of Blackmore Manor ever since her brother died. He was Hugh's father. She's a bit of a character. In what way? The way she spends all her time in that conservatory, slouching around, trowel in hand, murmuring to herself. You'd think she was burying something. Or somebody. Goodbye, Mrs. Petroff. Goodbye, Nancy. Oh, one more thing. My niece is on call and her husband's out of town, and, and I told her I'd go over there and babysit if she had to work. So if you call and I don't answer, that's why. Bye.